So let's say you have a USB flash drive, and really this video applies to any storage device, but for this example I'm going to use a flash drive, and on that flash drive you use a media creation tool, such as the one I have up right in front of me, this is the Cloud Ready USB Maker, and behind the scenes that media creation tool does all sorts of weird voodoo partitioning magic on your device, and when you get it back, you check the capacity, and for some reason the 8GB flash drive that you are using now appears as a one gigabyte flash drive and you're trying to figure out what in the world happened. So I have an example right here. I have an eight gigabyte flash drive plugged in and as you can see, what's going on? It's, it says this is a 15.9 megabyte flash drive. Now, what you could do, this is one option. You can go into disk management and we'll pop this open and you could, you know, format and partition the drive using the built-in Windows disk management tool. But a lot of times that won't work unfortunately. So what if you just want to start with a clean slate? Well, there's an easy way to do that. So we can go into command prompt. I want to run command prompt as an administrator. Give it access and we'll maximize this. And for this example, we are going to be using disk part. And a lot of you have heard of disk part, but a lot of people don't actually know how to use disk part. So in order to get it up and running, all you're going to do is type in disk part. There we go, so disk part is now running. So now we need to select our device. So in order to see all the devices that are hooked up to your computer, we are going to use the command list disk. And you can see we have five devices right here. Of course, you don't wanna select the wrong device because let's say, you know, if you select the drive with your operating system on it and then clean it, well, you're gonna have a really bad time. So. We need to make sure that we select disk four, which is the eight gigabyte flash drive, which I have plugged in. If you don't know um, which device is which, all you have to do is unplug it. You can list disk again, see which one disappears, and then plug it back in and then list disk again. And if it appears, well, that's the device that you need to select. So in order to select a device, all you're gonna do is type in select disk four or whichever device you need. In this case, it's disk four. So select disk four. And in order to start with a clean slate, all you're gonna do is type in clean. Very easy command to remember. Okay, so Windows gonna whine and moan to us now. Doesn't know where that drive went, something happened. When the, when the world is it gonna do? Well, now we need to go into the disk management tool in Windows. And we just need to create a partition because now the uh, space on that drive is completely unallocated. I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, disk management just kind of died. There we go, we're back online. So we're gonna right click on it. This is the drive that we need to uh, partition. We're gonna click new simple volume. Yes, yes, that all sounds good. We'll just stick with the, the uh, default settings. And we're all done. We'll just give it a second. And if we, oh, come on. I'm taking a little bit longer than I would like. And if we go back to this PC, you can see that our uh, H drive, our USB flash drive is now recognized as a eight gigabyte flash drive once again. So that's all there is to it. Really simple process, should take you under five minutes to complete. Hopefully this helped you guys set your storage devices back to their original capacity after a media creation tool or something else. I mean, it doesn't have to be a media creation tool, wreaked havoc on that device. So that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you wanna support me, you can use my Amazon affiliate link or eBay affiliate link, both of which can be found down in the description. And you can also support me by checking out my Patreon. And of course, please do not forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.